The first of the four crystal rocks left in the game is in Agata Forest, right near Madame Fawn's house? Fortune telling shop? I don't know what to call it. It is right here. Very easy to find. Alternatively, you can just uh, skip travel over to Agata Forest and it will be right near Field of Vision. Right near the gate to North Ryushima Coast is where the next crystal rock resides. Right here, and this is actually the rock that spawned me calling them Rainbow Zirconia. They are very aptly named, or I named them aptly well, whichever the case may be. Oh my word! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Oh! Wow! Um, <laughs> sorry, off. I, I was going to. Oh my word! I was going to spend my demon fangs with the emperor, and I talked to the guy that we gave the hairpin to. We returned his hairpin to him, and he just gave me fifty praise. Oh wow! Okay, that's that. Wow! Thank you, thank you, sir. Next catcall tower on this island is our rock. Last in order, but by no means in reward, is the final crystal rock, which is in the bear cave past the pointless bats and in from the blizzard. Take the branch with the bears in it. I believe it is the left branch. I could be very wrong. Pretty sure it's the left branch. That leads us to the crystal rock next to a bear. Sorry, bear. I'm going to have to take your treasure, and also, and also your money. Do you have any money? You did have money, because you paid me 50 praise and 50,000 yen. Finally, while I would love to start the episode here, uh, I shouldn't, because we're just going to be leaving in a second. If you go see Shaku, after br delivering Lika to the Waku Shrine, which is what that area that we were, we were last episode is called, uh, something new will happen. Hello, Wolf. Here to pay another visit to Ishaku? I'm assuming that means yes. He's been full of energy since your last visit. It's been quite incredible. He even regained his eyesight. 50 more? More praise. Wow, I did not expect that. I knew something happened, but I did not know we got more praise. And here he is, old man Ishaku himself. Which, if you, if you remember, we actually saw him... Um, 100 years in the past with Shiranui. This village is blessed with d light from uh, Lumen... Wait, let me let me retry that because I was stuttering way too much. This village is blessed with light from Luminous Moss. That's why no one else has, n has noticed, but I can feel it. The Day of Darkness is almost here. Don't look at me like that, Ami. Yes, you're right. I do have a grandson. His name is Isun. Even when he was small, he had the potential per to surpass me. I expected a lot of him, so I trained him really hard. But it backfired and he ended up hating, p hating painting. I doubt he'd even pick up a brush nowadays. If you ever bump into him on your travels, please tell him that I'm praying for his happiness and give him this. The last stray bead of Poncton. That's all I can do for him now. But I love my grandson more than anyone could ever know. And there it is. We have gotten the last stray beat of Poncton, and now I can start this episode out proper. You would not believe the time I had getting back here. Ugh, so many enemies. So many times of being frozen because I actually had to go back through Inner Yosh Pet to reach the Origin Mirror. Oh, the times were hard. The travels were rough. The doge was strong. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode we got some stray beads that were available to us after b delivering Lika to the Waku Shrine. And I also discovered the power, or shall I say the wealth of praise. Uh, once all of our stats are upgraded, praise actually gives a lot of money. Um, one praise equals, let me move away from this door because it's loud. One praise gives us 1,000 yen. So this episode, because we have gotten 300 praise, we have gotten 300,000 yen before the episode technically even began. 
Oh, and just let me reiterate that I I went shopping um at the Emperor's in in um in the aristocratic quarter in Seon City. So I got some new toys. You don't know what toys I got? I actually got a lot of one thing. I had 100 demon fangs, and so I spent all of it on godly charms and then one traveler's charm. Yeah, so 17 times 3 is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of godhood, so I should be fine on godhood if I run out of vengeance slips, which why on earth would I? So I am really overpowered right now. I could beat anything. Except the demon gate, but I could beat almost anything. I have 15 golden peaches, so even if all of my healing items, invincibility, defense, and offense, and godly charms, plus infinity stones that I can use to spawn shields in the form of whirlwind don't work, I have 15 lives, plus my astral pouch, which has 4 lives to fall back on. So, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty OP right now. I will never have to worry about money again, except for one more purchase, which takes a lot of money. It's actually, you've, you guys have already seen it, Brown Rage is 2 million yen, and I'm not even halfway to that number. So, we have quite a lot of grinding to do before I can afford that school, skill. But anyway, this time, we're actually going to be going inside, I, I, need, I say actually way too often, we're going to be going inside Waoku Shrine, because it's been open to us for quite some time, and... Uh, frankly, we should have gone in, into it last episode, but I had stuff to do. So, without further ado, let's go inside. Were you really going to go in there, Ami? The ruins of Waoku Shrine lie within Ezufuji. It's a strange place discovered by the people of Webkir long ago. At the peak lies an altar with the statues of the twin demons, and the trail up there is littered with old contraptions. Or odd contraptions. The twin demons are known as Lechku and Nechku. Their altar statues came to life and terrorized this land long ago. They were defeated and imprisoned by the legendary Oina hero. But it seems they have broken free and are once again wreaking havoc. This just can't be a coincidence. I mean, remember what that no good Ninetales said? You know, something about Yami, ruler of the land of the darkness. I don't know exactly who this Yami character is, but all sorts of strange things started happening once Orochi returned. Who knows if this mountain shrine has anything to do with all that, but I think we need to be extra careful this time. Wow, Ku Shrine. Wow! Ku! Shrine. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I have, really. Wait a sec, Ami. See those cannons over there? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not so sure they're they're there to greet us. Let's take it slow and easy. They they just did something. Can we go around? No, there's like a, an abyss below. Good. I love abysses. Okay, so slow and easy. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Ow. No. Fall back, fall back. Fall back, okay. Oh, <sighs> okay. I thought I was, I could, I dodged a couple of them and I, I could probably dodge more, but I'm not going to try because these things move super fast. So if I slow things down Veil of Mist, we can actually see the projectiles as they head towards us. And they're a lot slower and more easy to dodge that way. There's that one. It's still it's still hard to avoid these on the ice. Okay, let's slow it get down again. No, no, I got hit by one. No, I will not be hit by things. Things will not hit me. Things will now. No, what? How do I? Oh, is that is that is that a door that I can go through? Oh, it is. Woo! I took a look in, but I. Keep on ticking. I tick. That you wanna know how I tick? It's by licking. You lick me and I'll I'll tick. Don't do that, please. Just don't. If you ever see me in person, don't <laughs> please don't lick me. That's that's a quote you can you can <laughs> That's a quote you can stitch on a on a pillow cover. 
please don't lick me. That's amazing. Okay, so this is Wauku. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can't stun that. Okay, so this is Wauku Shrine. As you can see, it is an ice-based area with a lot of ice physics involved. Oh no! I really should have expected that with all the shattering sounds going on behind me and the fact that these things are breaking every two seconds just from me being near them. I really should have expected that. I'm going to test it one more time. Is it breaking? There it is, okay. So yeah, there are fall-through platforms, literally fall-through ones. They're not like the smash fall-through platforms. So we're going to have to be being very cautious here. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Just a Wow. <laughs> Just as I was saying, we need to be cautious. I get hit by falling icebergs from from the ceiling. They're not they're not from anywhere but the ceiling, but I get hit by falling icebergs. Then just as I, I chide myself for not being careful, I get hit by them again. Wow. Okay, so we're going to be very careful. Very, 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 very careful. Okay, there's an ice ball. I, I really doubt I can touch that. Like, no way can I touch that. But I'm going to try. Nope, I was right. Cannot touch it. Can we wind it? We can wind it. Okay, so that will be a thing at some point. Uh, ice things. Now, this is a balance, so... Do I want to melt the ice things? Uh, let's melt the ice things. They're there. We might as well melt them. Okay, that... That unbalanced the scale. And that brought up one platform. What the? Is this kind of some kind of game or something? Are we supposed to balance ag against are we supposed to balance against that weight on the other side? Well, in case you haven't noticed, I don't weigh a ton. Let's see how, how much does Ami Om weigh? Not nearly enough. Okay. So there are these. Uh, let's examine them. A house plant here? Is this one of those demon's tricks? On second thought, maybe it is just a, a plain old houseplant. Look at how healthy it is. Somebody must be taking great care of it. Huh. What about this one? What? What's its deal? Well, we can pick these up, and they don't weigh a ton, but if we place them here... Wow, it actually, it actually moved the scale, just that little houseplant being on there. I have a theory that if you bloom these... Bloom these... Ah, I was right. They will grow, making it way more. So let's do that with the other one. And then will that... Oh, yeah, it, it actually has already begun to tip the scale because it was on the far left marker. Now it's next to the middle. So let's, so let's drop this and then bloom this. Did that do it? Yes, it did. It indeed did it. Now... We, we were able to access that platform um, that those that those ledges oh wrong way that those ledges just open up to but where am I oh I was over there and now I'm over here okay but we need to get that ball over there and that cannot jump the gap so it needs to have a solid surface to go across so now it has just that so we should be able to use gale storm to bring it into this which will open the... Oh, it'll open the door. Okay. That has a key. Okay, I see. I really, really like how, how much they integrate our old, our old techniques in this. Come on. Bl there, there you go. Keep, keep blowing. Keep going. Keep going. But yeah, I, I really like that. I, I mentioned it in one of the other dungeons, but I just have to reiterate it because... It's just so good that they continue to incorporate these things. Bloom, which we actually, I'll be honest, we have not used Bloom for many puzzle aspects in the game, but in, we're nearing the end of the game, and also I'm stuttering an, an, a whole lot this episode for whatever reason, um, but it hasn't been incorporated into many puzzles throughout the game, but now uh, Okami surprises us by making it a, pu a puzzle aspect so late. Okay, let's go ahead and fire these so we don't run into them again, and 
Those were up there, but they're gone now. So we have a key. Oh, and we have these platforms. I forgot about those. Okay, ready, set, go! Do keep running. Run. Don't break. That was easy. As long as we just don't stick around on them and have like a dance party, it'll be fine. Okay, we have the key and we're we're progressing at a pretty pretty good pace. Let's see what's in here. An iceberg thing. My favorite. Anything above us? Probably, but we can't see it. And we can't access anything. So let's just do the obvious and melt this thing. And we restored what looked like a curse zone or something. Or a spring, which is very odd that there's a spring in here with all this water. Oh, and we have water tablets, so I don't need to swim. That'll make things easier. Maybe. Power spring, yeah! Moving on up. Spikes. Moving on up. Uh, sure, I'll get off here. That's fine. This will break. Yes. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be very careful, because... A, s a trap has not been sprung on us for a while, and I'm really expecting one. Let's see skulls, nice. I, I like skulls. I'm, I've always been a fan of those things. I mean, you can do so much with them. You can use them as candles, as nice, nice spring decor. What is this? Ice thingies. Okay. You can use them as decor. Where am I going? No, seriously, where am I going? Oh, catwalk. Ah, catwalk. I see. Cat walk. There's another another technique being used to travel up, and now we have to use it again to get up here. And the cannon things again. Okay, okay, the cannon things. Except they're lining the walls, which means I'm gonna have to do this really fast. What is that? Oh, oh. Oh, a spinny thing that I have to climb on while it's moving at Mach 10. Wonderful. Let's slow down again. No. Oh, well, this is... While we're here, what is this? What does this bring us to? <laughs> Just pots? Really? Why Why was that even sealed off to us? That makes... Them... Oh, wait. Oh, it's because there's a chest here. Aha! A white uh, etched glass. That's nice. Oh, and also, I didn't mention it. <laughs> I should have mentioned this a lot sooner, but I had sold off some of my treasures off screen, so if my totals look different, that's why. Uh, can we jump over there? I kind of doubt that we can, but we did. Okay. Uh, let's use catwalk again. Catwalk. I probably should have cut back up there, but there were secrets, so it's fine. But it's something to remember for the future. Especially since I've recommended it to a couple elf peers that if there's something redundant going on, then go ahead and skip by it. Oh, this is useful. Just frame by frame this. That is the angle I want. That is the angle I seek. And they're shooting at me. Okay, let's do this, do this again. There, that's, that's what I want. Nope. There. That's... No! Uh! Freeze time again! Keep running! Run, Serpentine! Uh! Are they done shooting at me? Are they done? It looks like they're done. What does this do? Oh, it stopped all of them. Neat. Oh, and it, it blew those up. Thank you. That's a, that is a very good button. If I ever make a fortress, I will make sure that I have a button that doesn't just shut down all of my defenses, it destroys them. That's a really good button to have. I love that kind of button. You know Norton Security? Well, they should have a website that just shuts it down, because that's the best thing. I mean, it's good if you're breaking in, but kind of bad if you're the one trying to prevent a break-in. Okay, uh, I'm trying to figure out if we should go further because, I mean, there's a stopping point right here, but also I've cut a lot of the stuff in this episode out, so the recording time is much longer than the actual time. Okay, we'll, we'll do this room. Ugh. We'll do this room. 
Maybe. Wait. You know what? No, I'm just gonna commit something. In uh, yeah. Let's do the room. Let's do the room. I'm I'm not gonna waste time waffling on this. I'll just do the room. It's fine. We've had long episodes before, and there's something up there. Snap. There, there is something up there. Can I reach it though? It looks too high for me. Oh, slow down time. Go over here. Oh, I barely made it. Nice. Let's make sure the rebound does not take us off the platform, and we get Kutani pottery. Woo! Yay! The treasure. Okay, get down here. Ugh. And we're outside. Huh. That's that's interesting. Sapphire tassels and a thing. Oh, I can't power slash me. will chase me. Don't chase me. Okay, you're good. And a clover for some free money. Free money. Free money. Free money. It's kind of it's kind of a shame we can't put this 700 praise to any other use besides money. But uh, it it's sad. Okay. Stop. Stop on me. See those glowing red beasts? Those are flame spiders. They resemble a blocking spider or a platform spider. But as you can see, they'll burn you real good if you touch them. Let's play it safe, okay? You might get hurt if you try to hitch a ride like you usually do. Okay, th this is just this is just another situation where Veil of Mist would be useful. Let's jump around these, okay. <laughs> these guys look kind of like they're covered in Dorito dust, which I'm fine with. This is the Great Tangu. Uh, much like a similar enemy we faced thus far, you, there is a certain attack that you want to never use on it, and that attack is Inferno. Feel free to use Gale Storm. That's fine, but Inferno is a no. Never use it. We do not have the Floral Fincher of it right now, uh, so I will refrain from showing an enemy bio. But suffice it to say, if it does go into Rage Mode like that other enemy, you want to deactivate it with Deluge or a brush technique that we do not have yet. So, that is actually going to be it for this episode. There's some stuff ahead of us that I will not be dealing with. If you, uh, next time in Okami, we'll just walk over there and see what happens and progress further in Waku Shrine. If you like this episode, then comment. If you don't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. So, I, um, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.